Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder video today. Um, by the way, I must ask you before I do my little intro, you know, and I'll just do the intro first. Welcome everybody, Midnight Assassin here. Hopefully you guys are all having a great 7.50 Tuesday, August 29th, Grand Theft Auto Smuggler's Run DLC just came out afternoon today. Yes, well, today I'm going to discuss something with you, and it is about my good old friend here, the IL-2 Stormovic 1942 model. Yes, covered in German coating paint, because this particular model was captured by the Germans, yes it was, and right now we are in Germany. So today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how to operate your aircraft if you're having trouble with it. Yes, oh yes, we're going to do that indeed. Because if you need any help, you can always just ask me for some assistance, yes. Now, I am not reading a book on how to fly your World War II um, L Ocean IL-2 Stormovic for Dummies Guide. No, I'm reading this from my very mind. Because I have been flying this plane for a recently good two weeks. Or maybe a little bit longer than that, fine. A few months, I don't know. So, I'm using my T-Flight HOTUS controller and my Thrustmaster rudder pedals for this. So, if you're having trouble with your aircraft, I am going to go over with, with you. Now, as we can see, my airplane is stuck on the ground. Yes, it is. So, yes, I don't even know why I paused. Oh my bosh. We're having some difficulty already. So, here we are. You've seen it. Now, let's go into the cockpit, shall we? Alright, now that you're inside of your cockpit of your IL-2, let's take a quick little dancy look, shall we? Yes, well, we got a rear view mirror back there. Oh, look at that. So we already know that my elevators are working just dandy. Okay, that's all good. Checklist for the elevators are complete. Now let's go over your dials before we take off. That must be a speedometer right there, that that thing that I'm looking at. No, 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 no. No, the thing beside the compass onto your left. Right there, yes, right there, with the nozzle beside the AD. Yes, that must be your speedometer or something like that. Here's your yoke, yes, isn't it beautiful? And it's got numbers on it, one, two. Over here we have some lock combinations or telly. Phone? I don't know. Over here we have some Russian words. I cannot pronounce Russian, but I will try. Well, that went terrible. Those green lights there tell me that my landing gear is down. So, if we had our landing gear up, my propeller would not be operating at the moment. So, that's a good sign. A few of these other things could be fuel gauges, or those are just things at the bottom. Oh, excuse me, I had a very nice dinner. Over here is your throttle. Yes, yeah, your throttle stick. I'm gonna zoom out, there we are. So, I'm gonna move that up to 50, because I bet you you're now all bored of it sitting on the ground, for God's sake. Let's get this sucker in the air, shall we? Okay, so I just put it up to 50, and you can already see a couple of the nozzles moved. Now, I do believe that this aircraft came equipped with an onboard clock. No? Ah, box. Oh, so I can't tell the time right now. Oh, wait a minute, I got me iPad Air 2, but that's not really going to be that World War 2, is it? No, it's not. So anyway, before we take off completely, I'm going to have to put me flaps on to take off mode. Yes, I will. So now that my flaps are on take off mode, that means that I am now safe to take this aircraft to the skies before I truly start my skills. Okay, now that we're going four miles down a runway, or four kilometers, let's get this thing in the air, shall we? Alright, fantastic, up to about a hundred. Oh dear, no, I don't want to go Tokyo drifting right now. So, this is, um, 38 or 58 bulletproof glass, yes. 58 or 38 millimeter bulletproof glass. 
and it does not work out that well because I was simply sniped out by a P-36. How humiliating can that be? And he shot me right through that window, right there where that little nubble is. Alright, so now that we're airborne, you are now going to exit out to third person mode. So here we are, the IL-2 is now actually flying. Yes, a seven ton piece of ass actually got itself off the ground. Grand, yes. At least I think it's seven tons, or maybe it's only five. I don't bloody know, it's a heavier plane. It's got armor, it's got guns. Of course I have nothing to do target practice with. So, let's go over the rudder, shall we? The rudder is that giant little thing that's flipping around back there. Well, of course it's not really moving at the moment, but now it is. So, the thing that's going to a side-to-side -side motion, that's my rudder. And I'm using my foot pedals to turn it. And we'll also go into the cockpit mode so you guys can see it. My character's legs are kind of moving. That indicates that my rudders are completely operational, so that's a good thing. Now, over there, that piece of dirt over there, I'm going to shoot it just so you guys know where I'm going. Hold on. Yeah. Ah, bucks. Okay, got your attention now? Yes, I do indeed. Because any, because like any kind of sound of a gun shooting is a perfect thing. So right there is Keegan's airfield, I call it. After my good friend Keegan. Ah, uh, yes, but I nickname him the Seagull. Yes, well, actually, we all nickname him Seagull. Don't know why, but, yeah. And then we got my buddy Anthony. Yes, my good old friend Anthony. Alright, so I'm going to put my throttle down to 50. Just so we get ready for a nice clean touch. So now what I shall do is I shall now put my gear down. Even though this is a really retarded idea. I'm flying at 400 miles an hour and putting my gear down. How smart of me. Okay, now just to make sure that we don't overshoot the aircraft's runway, let's um, go over a few things. I'm going way too fast to put me flaps down. Never do that, no. Alright, coming in for landing, I'm now going to push the bottom of my rudder pedals forward. Those are actually going to be used as brakes. Alright, dandy. Yes, there we are. Now, the second you touch the ground, you must wait till your aircraft comes to a complete stop. Now you can open up your canopy and get some fresh air. Ah, oh, the fresh air, yes. Well, I think we've spent enough too much time on the ground. Let's get this seven ton piece of ass back in the air again, shall we? So, I shall now raise my flaps. And built down the runway, here we go. Yes. Oh, it's very bumpy. Okay, now that we're airborne again. Fantastic, okay. Ooh. Flames. Okay, now we're gonna climb to a proper altitude. But before we do any of that, um, fanciness, I shall perform an amazing stunt for you today. Flying under a bridge, yes. Isn't that just the coolest thing to do nowadays? Like, I was watching these teachers use fidget spinners. Like, whoa. Now, I go to a very lovely high school, and the good thing is, is that it's right beside my house. Sort of. It's just down the road. A little bit. It's like a block or two away. It's not that far. And it's right beside a little Caesar's pizza store. Yes, grandy dandy. Oh, I love that feature. And there's a couple other stuff near it too, but we're not going to get into that. So, there's another bridge. Now, the last thing you want to do is fly under one with an IL-2 Stormovic. But I just did it. I broke the law. I'm an illegal pilot. I think that's what they call them nowadays, illegal pilots. Pilots without pilot license, but they know how to fly a plane. I think that's what they call them nowadays. I don't bloody know. I don't keep track of the politics. Actually, no, the pilot's not a bloody politics. It's just a pilot. It's a person who knows how to fly a plane. You know what? I'm just going to shoot myself anyway. 
This is just getting too odd. You know what? Nowadays, people are giving too much people hate. Yes. And uh, that's a problem. Yes, it is indeed. It's a big problem. Like, that guy Silento got a lot of hate on his video. At least that's what I saw on his Watch Me Whip Nay Nay. I don't think that that's a bad clip. It's a dandy song. Even though it was... So... 2012. Oh my god. Yes, well, it may have been that old, but who gives a shite? At least the lad tried. Yes, well, that's really all you gotta do. Like, look at me. I'm flying a 1942 aircraft under a bridge. And I'm telling you probably half the things that I already told you are wrong about this plane. But at least you paid attention this long. So, don't you dare press the exit button yet. Because we still have quite a few things to do. Now, I am bored AF, as what the cool kids would say. So I'm going to shoot the water because, well, that's really the only th thing that I can do right now. Oh, waves. Check it out, dude. Those waves, man. Going to ride the waves, man. Yes, well, I'm no surfer, and I have no bloody clue how to ride a damn longboard either. So I bet you if you put me on a surfboard, I'd be flippity flopping around like a fish. Out of water. Like, like, Spongebob. Or Patrick, because that guy has no damn clue what the universe is. Anyway. Alright, ah, fantastic. Now that I've got you, um, attention again. The second you sight spots on your airfield, you must put your aircraft to 50% throttle. And do a little barrel roll just for fun. Okay, now that you reach a good speed that you think you're not going to die from, you can then start to put your flaps down. The second you do that, put down your landing gear and cut the throttle. Now that you're level with your air runway, or whatever you like to call it, your airfield, your dirt strip, your line, I do not give a bloody rat's arse if you call it something. Just call it a runway. I don't care what you say about it. Just call it whatever you want, alright? Okay, grand. Now that you've touched down, make sure you apply your brakes. Remember, put your rudder pedals to the bottom. Make sure that the plane comes to a complete stop before exiting your aircraft. So, I hope that you enjoyed your tutorial today on possibly everything that I may have told you that might be wrong about your aircraft. So, let's open up the canopy, shall we? Okay, canopy is now open. Now you are free to step out of your aircraft. And I all do hope that you enjoyed your dandy flight today. Um, if you would like to hear more dumb tutorials about how to fly your aircraft, or if you are having a, any trouble with your IL-2, please make sure to let me know in the comments below, and I shall do another video on how to fly your aircraft. So, please take care, and make sure that you use my words wisely. Cheerio!